Hello everyone and welcome to Flame Keeper, a kind of cute little action roguelike game that I've actually been sent a key for, so I thought as it's just come out of the outside access into the full game, as of I think yesterday, let's let's jump in, let's give it a, a quick look see. Um we are we'll play on normal difficulties. I tend to play on either normal or medium difficulty for any new game that I try. You'll find it here, as prophecy said, in the darkest night, to look for the bright spark in the sky. Quick, we need your help. Uh, hold on, who are you? Who is this place? Or what is this place? Oh, you don't remember anything? I'm for me. But everyone calls me Prophet. I'll explain everything to you later, now please move forward, we need to hurry. Okay. A little bit of tutorialising. Let's dash at the tree. Oh, we missed that. There we go. Let's just grab all we can and wait for our stamina to regen. I don't know how much we can get from this tree. Because it seems that like the end objective is to transfer your energy to the campfire, wherever the campfire may be. Uh, let's eat some shrooms, some mushrooms, which should give us some armour. And let's start attacking. Nope. Okay, I've only got... I'm not very good at dealing with these guys, apparently. Oi, come here. Because this is... I believe this is meant to be played with a controller, which should make things a little bit simpler to deal with in terms of directional attack. That's okay. Hello! I think we do have a power attack as well, but we probably haven't been introduced to that just yet. Uh, shift use dash. Through there. Um, we can also presumably attack these trees for more. There we go. More of this campfire juice. Uh, energy, I should say, really. Well, it seems we can't pick up that energy. That's interesting. Uh, open totem with your energy. What does that give us? That gives us. Eight, don't know, tongues? Hearts? Whatever you want to call it. Can we pick up some. We can pick up some new energy now. Excellent. It seems like we've got a maximum bar there, so let's go over here. Uh, to fill up the campfire, you need to have collected all the lamps. Okay, so we can transfer some energy over. But we need to leave some health alive, otherwise we're going to have some problems. Can we go back to those trees from before? No, all the stuff there seems to have expired. Oh, there's some more critters here. And I'm hoping we can kill them... We've just got to be good with our timing. They're kind of dashing bugs. So we can either have energy... So energy is also health. That's important to bear in mind. Let's also knock down this tree. Get a little bit more. Excuse me, gentlemen. Coming through. They're mostly just dashing bugs. So they're not too bad to deal with. Because you can just jump over them. But I'm... Um, I'm to the illusion that these are the most basic enemies going. I'm sure there'll be tougher ones as time goes on. But for the time being, uh, we can manage. And I do love the art style. It's very, very cute indeed. I like the little flame head. But let's get ourselves back over to the campfire. And you need a lamp. You need a lamp. Where do we get the lamp from? Oh, probably over there. But first, got to deal with you, chap. There we go. Uh, fill the auto with energy and take the lamp. Okay, we can grab the lamp. And we can go put this down here. Oh, hang on, we need to get that a little bit more in the correct area. There we go. I think that's more... It's a bit more like it. And then fill up the campfire. Great job. There's our village nearby. We call it the village. Let's meet there. Very resourcefully named. Calling the village the village. Okay, to the village. I do like the art style. I'm not sure what I'd describe it as, but I do like the art style nonetheless. Okay, so we've got a bit of backstory here. Looks a little bit like the Hollow Knight art style in a way. With this kind of masks or bones on the heads. They also look like badgers. European badgers. <laughs> but I might be wrong. Anyway. To the village. 
It's terrible. Creatures of darkness are badly damaged our home, but we can worry about it later. The only reason you're here is because of our missing mother. She is the leader and protector of our eternal frame. Eternal fire, even. All the problems started with her disappearance. Without her, we are defenceless. And what's worse, creatures of darkness are ravaging our land. They're stealing the eternal fire and threatening all living beings. Uh, where should I start my search? There's a small village nearby, Mole's Hole, where some vulpices work as energy collectors. My old friend Versa lives there. She's a herbalist who is strongly binded with nature. If anyone walked through that forest, she probably knows something about it. You travel there using fire camps, but the energy has been stolen. You will need to recharge them to travel further. All hail the almighty fire god! They really do look like European badges. Right. Before we go on to any of the other kind of more exciting quests, let's just start with Mole's Hole and see how we do here. I imagine there'll be a few new enemies here. Okay, Mole's Hole. We've got a lot of things to transfer. Oh, we got a perk this time, so this is where the roguelike comes in, I'm guessing. So, lifesteal, 7% of melee damage becomes life, additional stem point, or defensive shield that blocks one instance of damage for 10 seconds. Nope, I feel like lifesteal. Okay, we need to get another lamp. I feel like a lifesteal's a... Oh, don't fall off the edge. I feel like a lifesteal's a pretty good starting point in that regard. Find room, totem, totem. Oh, hello. Ooh, I kind of chopped you in half there. Oh, there's like grab bugs. I see. Is it easy to tell when they're going to come and attack? Oh, goodness, there's a lot of little critters around here. Goodness me. Let's go grab this. Oh, excuse me, sir. Don't mind me. Well, I'm hoping we can use this life steal effectively. Because we're going to need it. Otherwise, we're gonna have we're gonna get, have some issues for sure. Right, let's charge this tree, get some additional energy and or health. Oh, what on earth are you? No, thank you. Hopefully, you're kind of stuck over there. Uh, if you're stuck over there, that's not necessarily a terrible thing. Nope. How do we deal with you? You just come up and attack every now and then, it seems. Oh, oh. Nope. Finisher! Okay, finish that one off. We've got to find some runes. Hello there, I see you coming for me. And finish him! Wonderful. That's okay, I'm friendly. Come home, come out. You look like friendly people in there. No, it's okay. Don't mind me, Mr. Badger. Oh, I see. You're going to actually take some of the energy for yourself. Ow. Ah, I can steal some of your things, but I don't think you're very happy about it. Right, so we can get a stack speed here. That's good. I don't know who those what those allies do for us. There's someone definitely living in that tree, for sure. Right, we need to go find... You guys are Germany friendly, aren't you? Okay, deal with you. I don't mind the spiders per se, they're not too bad. Oh, that's a problem though. Oh, sorry, I, I killed the nice badger friends. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know if the badger friends are actually friends or not, that's the problem. Right, let's go this way. It's a much bigger level, this one. And then the kind of tutorial. Oh, there's a lot of people coming after us there. Right. Cease and desist, gentlemen. Cease and desist. Because I require... I require more things to add to the campfire. Otherwise, I'm never going to make any progress. <laughs> 
This is okay. Here's a totem. But before we, I want to get some more. Oh, hello. Where did you come from, cheeky bugger? We we'll have to deal with you, I think, before we take this back. But let's get to a clearer ground. Jump now. And while you're on the ground, finish him. Wonderful. I'm guessing these are stored for when we're not around. So let's just go grab this and then we're going to take it. Sorry. If you want to do that for yourself, I'm going to take it for myself now. Okay, we can still attack when we have this, which is good. Back to the campfire. The campfire is this way. And then let's give some more stuff to the fire. And we've got another perk. Increased damage, 15% chance of instantly killing a mob, but not a boss. Let's go for that one. So the more things we add to the fire, the better we get, but obviously it can have some undue consequences, it seems. Excuse me, I require your box of goodies. I apologise. See, there we just killed that spider outright. Which is quite useful. Nope. Ooh, you cheeky buggers. No, you're going to blow up. Right, we're a little bit low on the old health. Has anyone been hoarding things when they shouldn't? Not when they shouldn't. Oh, no, I, I need that. Give it back. I'm very low on health. Give me the things, thank you. This tree's going to have to do... Okay, no stamina. She's going to need to give me some health. Aha, you've been holding some as well. I need to mine that spider. Excuse me. Ow. Those exploding spiders are annoying. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Okay. Let's grab whatever this mushroom is. Armour. Oh, we're stunned. That's not good. Because we can still fight when we're doing that. There's a lot of spiders here. I do not like this at all. Area push. That's a nice big attack. Okay, that's on a timer. Good to know. Uh, I require your box, sir. Your box of energy. Just for safety. I didn't mean to do that, I meant to get the totem, but that's fine. We'll test that area push out momentarily, but I do see something hiding in that tree. Oh, that's good, it's just, like, clears people away, should the need arise. That is quite useful, in fact. i deal with you. Oh, that, I always forget about that explode. You need a lamp, I've just put a lamp down, haven't I? Oh no, I've dropped the lamp. Bring the lamp back, that's fine, but we do need to get some more energy before we're ready to upgrade things, I would say. Ow. Okay, so you guys have more to do with the... You guys have seem to be more to do with the stunning, more than anything else. Right, deal with you. Get a little bit of health back from somewhere. Or I should say energy, really. I don't want to awaken the beast in that tree, for sure. I don't know what's there, but I can't imagine it's going to end particularly well for me. I'll knock down whatever's on there, though. Oh, okay, there's this big old spider there. Right, that might have been a mistake, for sure. Spider there as well, I see. We can get energy just from killing kind of small bugs, which can be quite useful. That slowing effect can be quite annoying. Leave me alone. We do not have much else to work with here at all. Come on. I see you there. No! Oh, I thought I avoided it as well. Okay. Slowed and dead. <sighs> okay, we did okay. Let's try again. I presume we have to try again from the beginning of the level. Yeah, Mole's hole 
one out of three, although it seems to be a slightly different configuration this time, that's okay. Right, let's get ourselves leveled up. Each attack has cleave 50% AoE damage dealt nearby the target. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Just trying to see kind of what's useful. I've got to remember those mushrooms are a temporary fixture, they're not going to be something that's around all the time. So I've got to use them sparsely and effectively. Hello there. Thank you, grab your stuff. I know you have any... I don't know if you have any spiders attached to them, but there's a lot of you coming in now, goodness mate. This is where the cleave is probably quite useful in all honesty. That stunning one is quite annoying though, the stunning bug. But actually the one I find the most annoying is the spider that explodes. I find that one rather infuriating to deal with for, I don't know, reasons. Right, we need to go get a new lamp. Hello there. These little dashing spiders aren't generally too bad. Can I just need some more you know, strawberries or whatever they are? Hi there, spider. Are you going to explode? There you go. No. Nope. <sighs> See? I always forget about that late. I forget about that late one. Anyone up there on those trees? Doesn't seem to be. Let's get some health from there. Or some... I keep saying health, it really is energy, but I'm going to just keep going with energy more than anything else. Ow. Right, there's our first campfire, or our first kind of totemy thing. Haha, obviously I avoided you this time. Right, let's grab this. And let's head back to base and get it locked in. And then we can get some more energy from some trees, which hopefully don't have spiders on them. But you don't have a spider on you, as far as I can tell. Do you guys have spiders? You guys don't have spiders, do you? No. There we go. So we can get some energy off the trees, but of course some are going to fall off the level. Which is very helpful of them. Right, so let's go see what our next upgrade can be. I'm starting to get used to how the combat works now. We haven't even met the boss here, that's the problem. Chance of evasion. Skill call down to 50% low. And let's go for chance of evasion. I don't know if that's going to be any good or not really, but we'll give it a go. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to deal with you. Let's knock down this box for safety. Okay, just like that. Maybe the mushrooms do regrow after a while. Which is good. You guys have all come back though, annoyingly. Oh, we're slowed by the bug. Okay, we're going to be a little bit careful about how we conduct ourselves. Until we get some health back. Hi there. You're generally rather annoying. Right, you not you knocked us off, but we managed to finish you in time. Let's get the energy from you. Let's get ourselves back up and healed. Right, let's break through here. Right, you're the one that explodes. Okay, let's grab you. Where's the next kind of totem, I wonder? Careful there, Mr. Badger. You're gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Precise bullet. Single but powerful bullet. Okay, I see it's kind of a. Well, as it says on the tin, a pretty strong bullet, but only can really fire one way. There's our next totem. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? That's unfortunate timing. Oh, there's two of them here. Okay, that's not good. I need some energy from somewhere, otherwise I'm going to die. 
Okay, we are momentarily pulling back. No, I can see you chasing me. Grab the thing. Grab the thing and run. I can see those things chasing me on the floor. Alright, let's get ourselves back to the relative safety of the campfire. Excuse me, spider, run away. Run away, run away. Go. Go, 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 go. Put this in the... Put this in the campfire, and we should be able to deal with these guys. Take the attack speed. The two spiders, the kind of little spiders by themselves, aren't too bad. These trees, I think, are relatively safe to get some energy down from. No, nope, mine, mine. Thank you. Don't want to hurt you, but if you steal my energy, then I will, because I want my upgrades. And of course, the tree, the tree is kind of the easiest place to get it. But obviously, the trees don't, I think, regenerate. Okay. Enemy projectiles fifty percent slower. That's not really a huge issue. I'm not really having many issues with enemy projectiles currently. Defensive shield. The blocks one. It says damage for ten seconds. No. Will we spawn off to death with three second invincibility and thirty percent HP? It's only once, but it might be the lifeline we need. Hi there. If we can kill lots of these little critters, we can get our energy back that way. I mean, not very quickly, but it's better than nothing. But that tree's safe to use as well. I'm just going to make sure there's no, um... Oh, this... No! No! Run! Oh, that's a really... Okay, that's a very slow build-up for that. It's a very, very slow build-up for that um, shot there. Come on! I can see you coming up there. Right, let's deal with you before you become a problem. Okay. Getting a few achievements here, which is always fun. Oh, we get to go really quickly. Whoa, look at this. Oh my goodness, there's things everywhere. Right, that's where the last totem is, but there's so many troops here. Troops, that's not a thing. Excuse me, gents, coming through. Let's deal with these guys a little bit more systematically than we did. And also when we have a little bit more health about us. Okay. Oh, we've got to be careful. Nope. I can see you coming over there. Finish him. Finish Get. Okay, that's move speed. It's lovely, but it's sometimes almost too quick part of the time. Nope. Oh, oh, come on. I was at the edge. I felt I was far enough away from that. Maybe these trees do regenerate the energy after a while. That's good to know. Because I certainly could be doing with some health if I'm going to try to get at that totem. I mean, it isn't. I wonder if we can get some move speed up and just try and essentially rush it, but the problem is you've got to take some time to unlock it with energy. So let's see if we can take out like a few of these guys at a time. Not all at once, in essence. Right, you're going to explode. Let's try build up one of these shots then. Well, we missed. Imagine we'll have to fight a boss at some point. Oh, those grubs on the floor can get very annoying. There we go. Well, which way was it again to get to the thing? It was down, definitely down there, wasn't it? Aha! I see you down on the ground, you sneaky bugger. Oh, there's a couple of them. Definitely a couple of them. Right, let's finish this one off if we can. Uh, not quite. Come on. Let's get you both up, please. Oh. I don't know if they actually do damage or if they're purely just to do with kind of slowness. Either way, they're annoying. Right, finish you off. Do with the spider now if we can. And run, because you're going to explode. And you're annoying when you do that. Right, only a few creatures left in here. This shouldn't be too bad. Oh. 
Okay, let's grab this while we can. It's relatively safe to grab at the moment. Okay, we can't obviously... Oh, I see. We can't dash with that. We can presumably break this. Get my energy back. Wonderful. Back to the campfire. And... Get this all locked in. Success? Success, it seems. Ah, that was just the first stage. Gotcha. Right. Things are really going to get tougher from here, it seems. But we do, however, keep our upgrades from the last time, which is good. Let's get an upgrade straight away. Mellow damage up. Mushrooms are always positive effects. I didn't realise they could be negative. Or more resources dropped by enemies and chests. Now let's go for melee damage. Having more damage is always useful in these sorts of games. Get some health back. I do like the cute little creatures that run around and try and grab your things off you. So make sure there's no spider on the top of you. Some energy from here. And let's break through there. Now, I forget. I I forget that sometimes it's a, it's a it's a very much a directional attack, and so you have to actually because in some of these games you just kind of hit in a general direction. It's okay, but in this you actually have to be a lot more concise with your efforts. No, oh, I saw you coming for me there. Finish him. Right. Ah, here's the next one. We can grab this nice and easily. I will grab that box off you because that's just some nice, relatively safe energy. I don't know if that's a safe tree or not, but we can't dash into trees. Anyway, let's get another one upgraded. Attack speed up. 7% of melee damage dealt becomes life. I think we've already got some life still, haven't we? Let's go for attack speed up. Oh yeah, that, feel, that feels nice and quick. But we're low on health. So let's grab some of this quickly. Because we're dealing with some enemies. Excuse me. Maybe the friendly badger's going to grab some for us, I don't know. No, I see you there, sir. I wish the friendly badgers would attack; it'd be very useful. No. Nope. Okay. Oh, what's this? I don't know what this is, but that looks cool. Let's go. S oh, that might be a rune to open something. Right, we're going to leave that by the fire for the time being until we're ready for it. We're going to come over here. Right, okay, we've got no stamina to break through just for the time being. Because I forget the jumping actually takes stamina as well. You know, it's easily the best way to avoid these creatures, I, I find. Right, let's dash through. Excuse me, gentlemen. But you're going to explode, that's fine. What do you require? No, you, we just get a, a, more currency with you, that's okay. What's the next major area? It's going to be around here somewhere. And I see you coming in for me. The nice thing is you can kind of stun them once they're once you've knocked them out into kind of the you can stun them once they're out and about as it were. Attack speed up, wonderful. Oh yeah, we can get through you nice and quickly. Right, there's another rune here. Not a rune, sorry, a totem I wanna to say.
I can now, now that I've realised the jumping will take stamina, I can see how the, I can see how an additional stamina thing would be useful. Nope, I think we're just about faster than you, so we're just going to keep on running. But we're going to grab this along the way. Ooh, what's this? Right, for now we're just going to drop this on the floor. Oh, area push. I prefer the area push to the single bullet. Yes, please. The single bullet is very precise, but it just doesn't seem to be working out in my playstyle. But the push I can see myself actually using. Feed some more fire to the fire gods. Uh, attack stacking. Yes, please. That sounds fun. So the more attacks we do to the same enemy, the more health we will get back it seems that I can do with that. There's a spider on that tree, let's not do anything too nasty to that tree then. We can get some from this tree however. And then run away. I see you coming for me. Let's just push you away just to give ourselves a bit of room. Finish you. Nope. I'm going to come steal your goods, I'm afraid, sir. Because it's very useful that you collect it on my behalf when I'm not around. Right, where's the next? Oh, hello. I see you coming for me. Let's go see if we can find the final totem, wherever it may be. We've been, yeah, we've been up that way already. Hello, where did you all come from? Nope. Oh, that, that bomb really does hurt. That kind of self grenade thing at the end. Save that for now, because everything requires energy to open. Oh, that slowed us down a bit. Okay. Finish you before you become a problem. Sorry, I didn't mean to destroy your box, sir. I apologise. Is it over this way? No, it's not. We've already been down this way. But we have to deal with these traps now they're here. Nope. Right, where's the final thingamajig? It's got to be through here, surely. Right, we're gonna deal with you because I can see you. I can see you coming for me. Finish you. There's a lot of these things around. Deal with all of you. Aha! Yes, there's the final totem that we want. Excellent. Oh, nearly got hurt by you. Let's grab this. Do we have enough to make it back? Let's just steal what we can from here. Any spiders on these trees? Let's find out. No, we can't. Okay, we can't, of course, sprint with this. That's okay. I think we'll be safe. When I say I think we'll be safe, I think we're not going to be safe in the slightest, but we're going to give it a go. We'll get ourselves back to base. In a hurry. All right, chuck you down. Deal with you, because you're going to be annoying. Nope. Oh, just about avoided that bomb. Right, let's get another upgrade here. Although we don't think we do because it's the final bit of that stage. I'm going to move on to stage three of three. Defend the main storage. Use energy to activate obstacles. Oh, it's a bit like tower defense, gotcha. Got to survive five minutes here, goodness me. Right. Oh, that's not even ready to go. That's a problem. I require energy from somewhere. Hello. Look at this really is tower defence. It's not what I expected. <laughs> uh, fast bullets. No, that's fine. Actually, yeah, sure. We'll try that. Oh, that stops us in place. I'm not convinced by that one. What's the main fire doing? At the moment, okay, let's get that 
spike up and ready. Hello, spider. Goodness, we do not have a lot of health to deal with these guys. Or a lot of energy at all, do we? Let's get attack speed up. I don't know what these weird, like, bouncy mice do, but I'm concerned. Let's give this up, whatever this is. Oh, hello there. Where did you come from? Okay, looks like the wave's coming from over here now. Gotta defend the fire, that's important. But I want to get that ready if I can. Another three minutes to go. This is just Baby's first mission, so I'm hoping we'll be okay. We'll at least try to get some defences down everywhere. Just to at least give us a little bit of a fighting chance. But the more these little critters come in, this is going to be problematic. But this is so close to being done, I don't know what it does. Ah, acid. Got oh no, it slows them down, that's fine. Does it slow me down as well, though? I don't know. No, it doesn't seem to. Excellent. Okay. Back to the main storage, please. Got some traps coming in over this side. I don't know if these traps can be either disarmed or broken, but it's something I have to bear in mind. Let's get these spy traps up here. I have to operate on very little... Um, Germany operates on very little health, so we can use it mostly for traps. I think that's important. But I'd like to have at least some traps in all parts of the map, so let's see if we can get this one up. Excellent, spikes will do there. Another two minutes to hold out here. And this, that's okay. I and mean, if we can get them down to half health before they even arrive, that's quite useful. It's Coming in from all sides now. Let's just give these guys a few knocks. Gotta protect the fire. The fire is the one of importance because everyone's coming in for me. Ow! I walked into the bomb. <laughs> oh my goodness, what are you? I don't know what you are, but you're problematic. Minute 34. It's regeneration, yes please. Very much needed. These guys are going to hurt otherwise. Ooh, okay, the fire's getting low. I don't know, we can't seem to heal the fire, that's the problem. Right, still spikes there. What does this do? Ah, this is one of the collecting, collecting guys, that's fine. Let's get some spikes down over here. Spikes are just useful, it's not one of those big chappies. How long to last for the... 57 seconds. You guys should hopefully down the route. These big guys are problematic though, for sure. Well, I'm going to have to leave you guys, there's a bunch of me in the other way. And the fire is the most important thing. Oh, that hurts. No! No, no, no. F. That's attack speed. That's not what I needed. I needed regeneration. This is getting chaotic rather quickly. Come on. 28 seconds. We've got, to, we've got to last. We have to last. I know the campfire's not going to last at this rate, but if we die, then there's no point. 18 seconds. Come on. No. <laughs> we were so close. <laughs> we were 18 seconds away. Oh, never mind. Let's head back to the village. Maybe we can buy some things. I see you found some fire seeds. Some villagers will be happy to teach you a few new tricks in exchange for these. Thought so. Uh, right, we can get some seeds here. Ha! Huh. So we can upgrade some buildings. Or we can upgrade some other things. Gotcha. It seems like we need to have some other resources as well. You find them in large totems that we haven't found just yet. Gotcha. Let's go have a look at some other ones. If 
Found some scrolls here. We found a few scrolls already. What about you? Passive abilities? Right, you require acorns as well. You all require acorns. And I haven't found a single acorn yet. But that is how you, I guess, would upgrade things. Don't stand there. We need resources to rebuild our village. I'm sorry, Mr. Badger. I'll get on it. And, of course, we get some more obstacles as well. Very, very interesting. I wasn't expecting a kind of a tower defence element, but that's very interesting indeed. But I think we'll leave things there for the time being. This is rather interesting, one I think I might well continue at a later stage, either in my own time or perhaps on the stream or something like that. Uh, but yes, this is Flamekeeper, kind of a mix of roguelike and a little bit of action, a bit of hack and slash and um, and defence build, which I wasn't expecting, all bowed together with some very cute non badgery badgers. And on that note, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.